<laughs> now, if you've seen the short, well, you'd know that I was making 15 bean soup. It ain't ready, but it's getting there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just put the 15 bean soup beans in there, some bacon, ham, uh, a can of Rotel, various spices. Welcome to the channel. I have been buzzing around like a busy bee today, getting things wrapped up before the real cold comes. Very, very windy today, but it's about 27. It was actually about 55 degrees 12 hours ago, but I ran to town, what did I do? Where did I put the propane tank? I guess it's still in the truck. Filled the last propane tank up, so all the propane tanks are full now. Uh, and let's go in the old dog apartment. Well, there's them two. Let me get a light on. Why does it feel warmer in here? And do you know why it feels warmer in here? Because I put plastic up there. Now we don't have that 12 13 foot ceiling up there yeah temperatures went up seven degrees in here since i put that on boy you guys like it lily was scared of it at first she's gotten used to it all right i have got the mr heater ready to go i've already fired it up make sure so i don't have to fight later and got them a full propane tank there they won't bother that uh i've had their other heater going on high so right now it's we'll go look in a minute probably 51 52 degrees in here which for a dog that's warm yeah all right i'm gonna go back in now while well, we're gonna go outside and, <laughs> and look at telly's contraption yeah she's warm all right all right so they'll be much warmer in there with that plastic on there i should have did that long ago and i'll just leave that up probably for the winter take it down in the summer now that big tall ceiling's good in the summer because all the heat will rise up into that area there and uh we'll miss tilly over here let's go take a look <laughs> i kind of added some stuff as you can see on a little blanket there keeps the wind out i just shoved that piece of styrofoam so there's really no big gaps going in there but i bet she's in there let's let me shove you guys in there I can't crawl up in there. Are you in there? On your heating pad. This is a good way to check and make sure she hasn't crumpled up that pad. She may not be in there. Man, I can tell you it's already... It is warm in there just by lifting that blanket back. So, this is nothing compared to what's coming. Eh, I mean, it ain't going to drop down a whole lot more. Probably 20 degrees. It's going down to zero. The sun is coming out now. Yeah, man. Check in on the chickens again. They're fine. Got them some corn this morning. Chickens need corn when it gets cold. And they get scratch every morning. So it's got cracked corn in it. I'm going to get them some fresh water because it's frozen. So I'll go get them some fresh and they'll have a few, maybe an hour to drink. And, uh, and when the sun goes down, it's going to get cold tonight. Alright, let me just go check on the well. Make sure that the, the light is on. You got to stay on top of these things. You never know when the bulb could burn out. You do not want that to happen in a well. Especially since I just replaced the pressure tank. Right, let me get one of these bricks off here. Boy, did it rain last night. Yep. Nice and warm in there. Jeff gave me an idea. I'm going to put my thermometer in here. Let me go. Let's go get it. That way I can keep track from in the house what the temperature is in there. And if it gets too cold, I'll have to add a. Uh, another Where have you been? Oh, the sun came out, and you're tired of being cooped in your little doghouse. Yeah. 
<laughs> you flinched too when he reached to pet you. I never hit you. Okay. I've got one of them thermometers. It's no warmer in here, Tilly. We don't need it in this. So I'm going to take this and put it into the well house. Ooh, here comes the wind. I don't have my mic, so... Get you a drink. I'm sorry. We're going to put this gadget in the well house. Yeah. 32 degrees in there. Temperature's actually went up a little bit. Since the sun came out, obviously. Oh, it's muddy. I've been out here with a rake. Breaking up all these sticks because I'm tired of walking on them. Alright. I'll set you guys down a second. Alright, I just set it on top of that board right there. So that'll give me a pretty good indication. Got a pretty good seal on that. Oh! So windy, you gotta have bricks on there. Where do you think you're going? It ain't going to be warm. The wind's too much. She's probably going to be tired of that doghouse. But it's warm in there, so that's good. And when I fire up the, uh, the wall furnace in there, that ought to add a few degrees because it's right there on the wall. Maybe not. I don't know. flagpole's bent. Be a good day to take the drone up, huh? Not. Man, I'm getting in. All right. The new shower valve came in today, and I'm going to tell you, this thing is heavy. This is solid, good brass, not cheap Chinese brass. This is made in America. It's called a Dern. If it ain't made in America, I didn't see it. It's in New Jersey or somewhere. Well, there was nothing in Japanese writing or Chinese writing on the, uh, the you know, the paper that comes with it. So, I went and had bought two new fittings. We're going to get them put in. I'm going to use pipe dope instead of, well, I'll use Teflon tape. Then I'm going to put some pipe dope on them. Uh, that should be good, but I'm thinking the threads are bad on the other one. I, I'm sure I didn't get it cross-threaded. But, man, is this dude stout. It's pretty, too. But that piece right there, 110 bucks. So we'd better be good this time. I'm tired of messing with plumbing. All right. This one again. And see, it's not leaking over here no more. It's leaking pretty good right there. So I'm just pulling it. All I got to do is cut these PEX lines. I'm, I'm, there's no way after putting all that silicone, those are coming off without some work. And uh, I'll clean them up. And if this is not cracked, but you can see the difference from that piece to this piece. Look at that brass. I mean, that's it's that thing probably doesn't even weigh a pound. And that other one's five pounds probably. So all I got to do is unscrew this and cut these PEX lines. Fortunately, I left plenty of room, plenty of PEX to cut them. Uh, I'm probably going to replace this whole PEX right here. Because for whatever reason, I think I probably didn't have enough PEX or something. And I put a coupling there and added PEX to it. So I'm just going to take this out. Because the less couplings and, and elbows and things you have, the better. So it just connects right there. And by the way, no airflow coming through here anymore. Just a little bit. But that is the main reason that was freezing last year. So yeah, I'm going to replace that. That won't take but a minute. That's a sharp bite up there. Just plugs right in. And uh, I hope I can button all this up. Man. I'll tell you what, it never ends. I went to turn this on. It's leaking. I can't tell where. This, this I replaced yesterday. So I'm going to get this Windex out. Man, I'm just not having any kind of plumbing fun. I had this running yesterday. There was no leaks. Now all of a sudden there's a leak. Now let's find out what's going on. Oh, 
Oh, it blew out the side, man. What the hell? <sighs> it's too late to run to town. I have to go tomorrow. So we won't have that tonight. I'm going to take a look at it. Uh, all right, yeah, I took it apart. Uh, the pressure regulator is bad. So now I got to go back to town and hope I can find one. Uh, thank God it's early and I checked that. I was just going to turn on this so you guys can see it running and uh, that's what happened. And it ran yesterday, so obviously it got cold last night. Who knows? It was probably bad to begin with, so better to find out now than tonight when I need it. So I'm going to head to town, get that done, and I'll be back lickety-split. All right, last one on the shelf. So I'm going to go ahead and get this put on, and then I'll come back. Uh. All right, I got the new regulator on it. Let's crank her on, check for leak. Shy, so I can hear that boy. Looks good. All right, I'm gonna go fire up the furnace. Uh, I didn't see any holes or anything in that one. What I think happened is that pipe thread that I used, that pipe dope, ate up that Teflon tape. Now, I don't know for sure, but when I took this off, it was pretty loose. But I sprayed stuff there and it wasn't bubbling up. So let's go see if I can fire it. It takes me a while to get this started once I've bled the lines out. So you just don't know how to behave when I'm busy doing some work. And I don't know why Rooster wants to be outside, but she does. It's still cold, but we got the warm sun. Yeah, your heat's already working. I tested it this morning. It's ready to go. That boy. It's a good thing I decided to make a video, guys, because if I hadn't decided to make a video, I would have never went out there and turned that on. Because I was going to show you that I had this thing ready to go. Uh, this is going to take quite a while. So I'll come back once I got this rolling. We'll check it again. But it's always good to, get, to hook stuff like this up way beforehand. And double, double check things. And then things are smooth sailing, right? Here we go. Alright, mission accomplished. That thing is a bear to get started. You gotta push that igniter hundred times when it's the first use of the year. Now I only use this maybe one week out of the entire year. But it's good to have when you need it. And this week we're gonna need it. Probably gonna be running this four or five days. Then probably may not need it the rest of the year. I might need it all February. But uh we got it running and I went back out and sprayed it again, no leaks. And I've never used pipe dope or anything on propane. Always just Teflon tape, but it always works fine. And so now we we got no leaks. I don't know what happened to the pressure regulator, but that thing was probably ten years old. I think I bought that right when I bought that, so uh, it needed replaced. You can't let products today get that old. <laughs> and I did not. Usually what I'll do is I'll cover that in a plastic bag and tuck it out of the way. But this year I just laid it up on that thing and and it played havoc on it. So, yeah, we're running good now. And that's all I need in here, guys. I don't need a wood stove. I don't need Oh, uh, Let's turn the fan on. I'm going to get a screw and keep this off of the top of that. This makes a little racket at first. Ah, but it blows some very hot air. You can feel hear the walls creaking from warming up. I got a bunch more cedar coming. My sawmill guy is cutting it up now. I got 50 more of these boards coming. So I don't know exactly what I'll do with it. But he is back in business. Three dollars for a uh, half inch by six inch wide uh, by eight foot long three dollars you can't beat that you can see all the times I've replaced the air conditioner and how much this wood has shrunk so I'm not gonna really worry about it but it still looks pretty good up there I put this stuff up green and you don't do that and that's why it happened 
and I gapped them when I shouldn't have gapped them at all I should have put them close together but you live and you learn but I don't want to add any more cedar in here I mostly got that because I'm going to tear this whole ceiling down and redo it because the same problem it's got the big wide gaps and I want this to look better these strips were just put up there temporarily <laughs> this lasted about seven six seven years but I still got to address this wall I'll see if I can show you guys the problem if you can see up in there see that fitting there's no insulation up in there and it hasn't froze on me yet but if it's going to it's going to be the next few days so I'm probably going to tear this off a few of these panels off right here and then put some insulation behind it and wrap that in some foam and that cures all the freezing water but that's where it's been happening I hope you can see this but you can see that up in there that's where it is and there's two elbows there and those are brass and they freeze all right guys well I'm glad I made you a video or I would have never known about that uh, I already showed you the dog apartment what I did in there just a, uh, a little short one here today everybody get through this cold blast happy trails all right I forgot to put the thermometer in there in the well house unfortunately it's out of range and I think that's what it said when I uh, put it in there so it's not picking up what's going on in there oh well it may just yeah i put new batteries and all them not long ago uh there's dog apartment 55 degrees that's just from that little electric heater and there's my, my cabin 54 degrees i could get it warmer if i turn up the propane but i ain't gonna do that so and i know a lot of people comment why don't you get a wood stove i don't want a wood stove wood stove equals work cutting wood finding wood which is easy to do but it's work and this whole house man is a tinder box i don't want open flames in here uh, at least that on the wall is behind a glass you know window i've never had trouble i'm going to replace that because i'm not going through that every time i need to start it and it's getting old uh, they got some much better ones out now and then when once you turn it on the flames are you know when you when the flames are up high and you try to adjust it to put it down just a little bitty low flame it's real touchy i mean you you got to get it to the right spot it takes a while i mean it works for now for as much as i use it it's fine but i think i'm going to go ahead and replace it because i don't want to have to go through that every time propane is fine with me that's why i haven't had a tank brought out here i don't need it i don't go through that much maybe two of my 40 pounds a year and then maybe two of the smaller 20 pounds that is all I use now we could have a freak winter but to me you know even a pellet stove you got to buy the pellets it's not the most cost effective for what I need I understand that electric is you know electric heaters it runs up the bill but my electric for this little place isn't much uh, I've got it on the levelized billing so it's 150 a month which isn't bad and that's running the heaters in the dog apartment, running the air conditioners in the summer. Summer it comes down a little bit, but you know, with the levelized billing. So I never have no giant bill show up. And electric has went up quite a bit in in the last two years. I when I first had this place, first moved here, it was sixty, seventy dollars a month. And that's running what I'm running now. Granted, I didn't have all the electrical outlets and, and the additions, but uh, I have seen it jump significantly because on you can I can sign online and it tells me I can go back all the years tells me the usage and then how much it costs and there's months that I've used the exact same use uh, amount of electricity but it was a whole lot more expensive so which everything else has went up so I guess they have to raise their rates as well but uh, I have no issues with our local uh arkansas valley electric really good company and i better get off because i'm getting ready to sneeze and this could go into a sneeze fit thanks for watching guys happy trails